Agency responds to an emergency call after Stinnett EMS can't get to their equipment. Thanks for joining us. Andy Justice has the night off. The city manager says the entire situation has been blown out of proportion and it was all just a miscommunication. KAMR Local 4's Veronica Dietrich speaks with the city who says there are two sides to every story. That story is topping our news tonight at 10. It was a miscommunication between me and the EMS volunteers, and that's all it was. City Administrator Andy Trahan says EMS volunteers were never purposely kept out of the building. When they were responding to the call, the door was locked because the EMS director is no longer with them. And any time there is an employee change with the city, the codes on the doors are automatically changed. My door is always open. If they need information, I think they should have come here first. Trahan says his door is always open and he invites volunteers and anyone with any questions involving the city to come to him first. Our volunteer force is working now. They're covering night shifts in the city of Stanette and Borger's covering the day. And when this episode happened, the city of Borger was already covering uh, the city and Stanette EMS was not even toned for this call. He wants to assure the community they have everything under control, and he says the safety of the community is the city's main concern. Trahan says he is always available to answer any questions or to clear up any confusion about situations such as this one, and again says this was just a miscommunication. All the information needs to be gathered before someone jumps to conclusions, and that's what happened here. There's always two sides to every story. The city tells us it's necessary the EMS building be locked at all times because inside are emergency vehicles, narcotics, special equipment, among other important items. Live in studio, Veronica Dietrich, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. And Veronica, thank you. Trahan tells us they are actively looking for a new EMS director. We have